one of my favorite things to do when I travel is to visit the Chinatown. Today we come to the Chinatown in Buenos Aires. Let's go. It's very easy to come to the Chinatown in Buenos Aires. You can take a train or today I took a bus from uh, Wicoleta. It took me maybe 40 minutes. This is the edge of the um, Chinatown. You can see some small restaurants and shops. Um, not all of them um, Chinese stores. Some of them um, local stores. Okay, this one. Oh, strange. It's a, it's a salon, but actually it's a grocery store. It has bakery. Let's go inside. Um, the last Saturday was the Mid Autumn Festival, so they still have the lanterns here. Well, see all these beautiful flowers. I guess it's because it's getting warm. Wow, well, so nice. Everyone wants to take pictures here, but it's very difficult to find a good angle. <laughs> Cannot miss the stone animals at the entrance. It's always in the set. Okay, <laughs> that's the other one. On that way, that one. All the street names are translated in the Chinese. But I think it's more difficult to pronounce it in Chinese translation. Stores um, at the start of the Chinatown are s'mores they are selling random stuff yeah it looks a bit messy inside but they have a lot of things i have to tell you it is always always packed on the weekend and there's no way i can come on the weekend and film because all i can see it's just people. In Chinatown, you are able to see a lot of this kind of Chinese wall painting. Okay, these stores are selling more or less the same stuff. How many stuffed toy people need? This is an Argentine candy store. Now it's 12 p.m. on a weekday. But you can see there are quite a lot of um, local people eating here already. Even though it's a weekday, it's not that quiet. A lot of local people like to come to shop and eat. Well, this is beautiful. It's donated by the Chinese government. I don't know when this Chinatown was built because it looks very new. Uh, something like the one um, in Costa Rica. It is not like an extremely huge Chinatown like those in Vancouver or Toronto, but um, it's big enough. I found a place on Google where I can have dim sum, so I think I'll go inside um, to try the food and then we can walk around here. It's a very big restaurant. I'm gonna go upstairs. Wow, it's very nice. It has very nice sofa and outdoor seating. Wow, look at the dim sum. I'm very happy. A lot of choices, but I only have one stomach. That's always the problem. Wow, I love this. So for modern dim sum restaurant, they will give you um, this ordering list and then you just take what you want all right definitely i need to have ha gao and then chang fun and then dan ta oh and chicken feet guys look here this restaurant looks really, really luxurious but once you sit down the waiter will ask you what kind of tea that you want because the food is pretty oily in western countries some people may ask for a glass of ice water but that's not the way you eat dim sum glasses these are some of the food ha gao chicken feet and chang fan with strip i have to show you the ceiling light as you guys might know, I have lived in Mexico City for quite a long time and I've never seen something like that. I'm not sure if you can see the steam. 
is freshly made. One of my viewers at asked for the dim sum scene in Buenos Aires. So here you go at Povecho. Mm. This is Hagao with stream, my favorite dim sum food. They also give me some spicy sauce. Let me try this one because it doesn't look very red. Mm. Mm. It's not bad, but it's a bit different. This is Chang Fan. Underneath is the sweet soy sauce, not the regular soy sauce. The Chang Fan, um, I ordered the one with the shrimp. Some people like it with barbecue pork or beef. Look, that's the shrimp. Oh, that's it. I saw some para esto. Here is come the beef ball. I'm a bit disappointed that it doesn't come with the salsa inglesa. Unfortunately, they don't have it here, but the lady is kind enough to give me the black vinegar. Let's see if it works. Mm. It's not the same, but not bad. Oh, underneath is the fujo. So this chicken feed is steamed with some black beans. If you want it to be spicy, you can eat it with some chili. Another viewer, Sage 100, asked me that if Chinese food is done by Chinese in Latin America. Well, it really depends. For dim sum like this, it's very difficult to make. And then you can also see this restaurant is, is a very nice restaurant, a very luxury kind of restaurant. So they should be able to afford a Chinese chef. If you see restaurants with those very brown fried rice, spring road, and those weird colors sweet and sour pork, yeah, <laughs> you know, those, those things can be done by anyone. From my observation, most of the Asian food in Latin America is done by local chefs. I've tried Japanese food, Korean food, and Taiwanese food in Mexico City. All of them is done by local chef, and yeah, it's not bad. Like, it's, well, no, I should I should not say not bad. It's it's pretty good. I would say it's ninety percent authentic. It's ten percent less. Somehow, is because of the ingredients. Here it comes, my egg tart. Oh, it's warm. Very nice. Ooh. It looks like this inside. I already prepared my own box because I know I cannot finish everything. Let me show you how to check the price. So this is what I had. They don't have the price here, but never mind. Because in the order list, okay, for example, I order the Hagao. Is that L? L is not the size of the dish, it's the price. It goes from S, small, which they don't have much here, <laughs> and then M, uh, L, um, they have some XL, XXL. So small is the cheapest, 1,200 pesos, medium, 1,300, large, 1,400, extra large, 1,600, double XL, 1,700. Um, the others, I don't know, maybe they have combos or something. And then you must pay for your tea. Okay, it's 450 pesos per person. I love their toothpicks, it's individual pack. According to my research, it seems like this is the only authentic dim sum restaurant in Chinatown. I'll have the link in the description box. Five dim sum and tea for one person, 7,400. So it's like $25, it's not bad. Oh, it has an English name called Royal Mansion. And this is their opening hour. Uh, Tuesday is their day off. As a 7,000 pesos is not bad, it's quite an international standard um, because if you go to a restaurant here to have steak and to have a drink, it's gonna cost you maybe like 3,000 pesos or less. But authentic Asian food always costs more in Latin America. Now I have energy, let's walk around the Chinatown. Next to the restaurant, that's um, Buddhist temple. Let's see if it opens.
That's called Zhong Gun Zi. Unfortunately, it is closed. Uh, I think it used to have Tai Chi or Kung Fu classes. Ooh, it has a um, hair salon, Chinese hair salon. A very trendy snack store where you can get bubble tea. Um, this one is for Japanese food, uh, more likely for sushi. This one has ramen, Japanese snacks. Oh, and um, oh, this is not bubble tea, just cold drinks. Fujisa, Japanese, Japanese. <laughs> A church as well as the vaccination center a very nice home decoration store Chinese feng shui stuff and medicine now I'm back to the main street um, they have more or less the same kind of stores um, behind me is a very big supermarket we can check that out later yeah the stores here are selling a mix of everything <laughs> this place is very popular it's selling hot dog there's always a long queue here always oh i think it's the um, korean style of hot dog that's why it's popular with sausage and cheese and then they put something on top and deep fry it because on the weekend the queue is even longer here look at this <laughs> so cute um, the Korean kind of hot dog um, starting from like 1,100 pesos and they also have sachi papa uh, which is quite a popular snack in South America with sausage and fries <laughs> here are the cold drinks over here is a um, Taiwanese association. This is the first time I see Taiwanese association in Latin America. It usually opens on the weekend for the Taiwanese. In Chinatown, you might see a lot of new immigrants from mainland China, but there are quite a lot of Taiwanese people in Argentina too. I think they have been here even longer. Oh my God, this one is beautiful. Anyone can tell me the name of this flower? These are the Chinese wine. This one has, wow, 56% of alcohol. I don't know why they like to sell this kind of deep fried food it's on a skewer. It's like every tiny store is selling it. This one as well. You know, these are not our normal snacks. I think the food is on a skewer is because people can just buy it from the store and then they can just sit over here and eat we also have street food that is on a skewer but it's not deep fried this is a supermarket or what let's check that out this supermarket is slightly older or oh, it has all this paper offering stuff for the ancestors okay this one is slightly older why I said that is because <laughs> of the smell. The smell of the old Chinatown. Century eggs. Ooh. Big supermarkets in Chinatown, normally they have a section for seafood. I'm not sure if they are fresh or frozen. Maybe it's mainly for the supplies to the restaurants. Police is everywhere in Buenos Aires. Um, I don't know if it's a good thing or it's a bad thing or it's just something to <laughs> show the power if you just look at the main street of Chinatown there are like maybe four blocks but um, there are quite many shops on the side I come to this noodle restaurants maybe twice a month um, it's not bad but um, if you come on the weekend, oh my god, you have to wait forever. 
the surface is just slow. Oh, over here is an ice cream shop. Mostly you see apartments in Buenos Aires. It's not very easy to see houses. I don't know how old they are. Maybe it's even empty. Remember I showed you guys a set of stone animals at the entrance? There's another set on the other end. One here and that's the other one. Oh, high school students like to take picture with the stone lion. This one is a very trendy Asian snack store. Look at the drinks here, so colorful. This one is very popular for selling marinated meat and duck. All right, let's check out one of the big supermarkets here. Coming to the supermarket here, you need to lock your backpack. But normally you don't need to do it in regular supermarket. I guess it's because it is extremely, extremely packed on the weekend. This one has some Chinese bakery. A lot and lots and lots of meat. I think definitely the restaurant come here um, to get the ingredients. See, it's very specific. And seafood. Oh no, that's chicken feet. I mean, seafood over here. And lots of them. I think this is frozen, maybe from somewhere else. But a lot of them, salmon. We don't really see like fresh salmon in regular supermarket. Sometimes you don't even see frozen salmon in regular supermarket. A tiny section for vegetables but not much Chinese vegetables. Dumplings, I think it is made here. You can find some very, very Chinese ingredients for soup. These are all very, very good for health. Instant noodles, um, Korean instant noodles, or, or this one is from mainland China. I don't find anything from Hong Kong. That's why I can never get stuff from here. Korean drinks. Drinks from mainland China. Chinese sauce. Someone was asking me about tofu. Um, you can find it in Chinatown. This one is at 800 gram, 520 pesos. Over here you can find some Chinese stuff, awesome, regular supermarket stuff. I think one third of the store is selling some something that you can buy in regular supermarket. I'm heading to get some real bubble tea. I hope it is authentic. This store is for selling Oh, all this Japanese cute stuff. Massage. Mm. How come there's no price? <laughs> oh, tea. That's the name of the shop. But they have mooncake. Nice. But Mid Autumn Festival has passed. Oh, bubble black sugar milk. Collection you there. Oh, vale. Muy bien. Eh, Mariano. Mariano. Todavía tiene como pastel de luna. Sí, acá. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Dos setenta. Uno por favor. Sí. This is my brown sugar bubble tea. 
and they still have the mooncake so I order one and try let's test it out not too bad milk tea this is a medium size 650 pesos this mooncake 270 pesos so all together 920 pesos um, a little over than a little over than three dollars the mooncake is very tiny they told me it's a sweet mooncake let's have a try um, let's treat it as a dessert instead of a mooncake I switch seat because this one has better light but I already finished what I need to say <laughs> all right let's have a tasting test it has some coconut I don't know it's a bit red I don't know what's that is if you treat it like a dessert it's not bad and nowadays the young people they don't like to eat the traditional mooncake they like to eat something sweet or even ice cream mooncake I think this one is for selling Taiwanese food or a bit fusion Kamida per peso is very popular in Buenos Aires basically it's like a um, buffet but you pay by weight usually it is takeout only this little area has a women's clinic a feng shui shop whatever this one is for high-tech stuff um, here it's quite a strange place <laughs> this shop is for renting videos but I think it's a long time ago because everybody goes online now yeah this is the women's clinic it looks odd to me look at the shop sign there's something underneath it I think they just erased the old shop sign and then put on a new one a lot of Buddhas by the way there's another Buddhist temple 30 minutes away from this Chinatown but um, today is a weekday so I don't think it's open and there's no point to go there I'm running out of battery so I have to end the video here remember to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and follow my Instagram I will see you next time bye